This is week eight in the fall trimester of my Tele Diary. This week I'm continuing in the blocking of my figure painting. I'm pretty happy with the drawing of everything, so now I'm going to be focusing more on value and then color. This is a shot of my painting on Monday morning before I started the painting session. So you can see that um, I'm starting this week with having the, the shadows worked out on and I'm working out from the darker values. And this is a photo after Monday's painting session. So you can see that I really got a lot done in three hours. I worked on the values in the legs and also the back because I'm organizing my paintings by starting in the darks and working out into the lights. So those areas, the legs and the back are the next darkest values from the shadows. And I could have ended the painting session there, but I'm always trying to get my painting to look like the impression of what I'm actually seeing. And the parts of the canvas that I haven't touched yet, like the, the gluteus, the shoulder, the extended arm, the head, all those areas still have the imprimatura, which is the first initial tone that's on my canvas. And so those areas really stood out from the painting. So I took a really small amount of paint on my brush and scumbled across those areas that I mentioned to cover up that imprimatura. And so I took a, a skin tone to really um, scumble in over those areas. So those areas more blended into the areas that I just painted, making them sit back better in the painting so everything works as a nice whole. Tuesday, I started to work into the lights. So I worked on the extended arm, the shoulder, the gluteus, some parts of the face. Magda gave me an example on how to do this by she works in the gluteus area and she was showing me um, she, her main focus was getting the right value there and then also putting a lot of attention on making sure that the transitions from the darker values really worked into the lighter values that she was putting in. Wednesday, since I have worked from my darkest darks all the way up to my lightest lights, I wanted to reevaluate my key. So I was seeing how my big value areas were relating. So I was seeing the shadow tone or the shadow value related to the background, related to the lightest lights. And I saw that I could really make the background value a bit darker so the key worked better with the impression of nature. So I ended up repainting the whole background and just making sure that that value was darker so the whole key relationship made more sense. And on Thursday, I'm looking at my painting, pretty happy with the drawing, pretty happy with the values. So now I'm focusing more on color. I'm seeing when I look at the line that it definitely gets cooler as it goes down the body and my painting isn't really reflecting that. So I started in the legs to work in some cooler tones. So I started working on the bent leg and going up the hip to get some grayer tones in. Though I think I overdid the cool tones because it was a really sunny, it was a sunny day and so on sunny days everything gets more gray so i think i really overdid it and then i ran out of time working on the standing leg so it just made that bent leg look even grayer so come friday then i started working on the standing leg and as i'm mixing up colors that are cool but not as cooled down as i have on the bent leg i was taking the same mixtures and working them into the bent leg that i'd worked on so Overall, what I'm trying to say is that the the standing leg, I was making it more cool. And then the bent leg, I was getting more colors into that. So both legs worked better together. And I was also painting faster. So I was able to go into the back area around the shadows and really just start correcting the colors. I made those areas more, a little bit more green than what I had down. So kind of getting some more cooler tones in there as well. And then I was also correcting a bit of the drawing because I was losing some structure in the legs a little bit. And um, I'm looking at the legs and seeing that I think I could still get a little better structure in them. So I'll try and do that this coming week. Also this coming week, I really want to work in the lights areas in the portrait because I think now those areas are the things that are um, the most lacking in the painting. And now moving on to my afternoon project, which, the, which is my cast drawing. This week I'm really trying to finish up this cast drawing. So I'm really happy with the drawing of everything and the structure that I have down. So to move it to the next level, to really finish it up, I'm going back to the shadow shape and unifying the shadow shape, trying to make everything the same tone. So even though the shadow shapes are not all connected so you could say I have different shadow shapes in this painting. I'm really trying to unify the shadow shapes, make sure that the, the shadow shapes are the same value so it all looks like one even though it is divided. And while I'm unifying 
the tone of the shadow shape. I'm also working on the edges of the shadow shape, making sure that they're soft where they need to be and more hard where they need to be. And doing this unifying the shadow shape value and then also working on edge work is really bringing the cast drawing to a next level up, making it look more three-dimensional, actually like a relief. And so just the simple of unifying a shadow shape and working on edge work, um, it just surprises me how much it can really improve your drawing because it really doesn't take that much time. It's pretty easy to do, but it can really take it up to the next level. And so now working out from the darkest shadow shapes, the next tones on this cast are really on the borders of this cast. How I've set it up, it's kind of a, a vignette of shadows along the border and darker tones. So I'm taking the darker tones and working on the cast along the outside and it's it's a big cast, so it's taking a lot of time to fill this tone in without looking sloppy. So I feel like I'm in a portion of the cast where it's kind of just a lot of grunt work right now, getting it down. So my new goal is to try and get this cast done this coming week. So hopefully I can do that and wrap this up so I can start the painting soon.